good afternoon or morning. Uh, uh, together with my colleague David Čapek, uh, we are interested in meteor pairs and groups in recent years. And it uh, seems that uh, mainly from optical observations that uh, uh, there are numerous reports about uh, meteors appearing in pairs or uh, groups, but only a few instrumental uh, recorded cases. Uh, for example, there were some possible groupings of meteors uh, recorded by radar data among younger streams. And of course, during the recent meteor storms uh, at the turn of century, there were uh, recorded few big groups of uh, meteors which uh, occurred within a few seconds. Recently, we uh, analyzed uh, uh, double station video data on uh, Gemini meteors. And uh, despite the fact that uh, there was a relatively high number of uh, pairs and the data looks uh, promising, uh, the statistical uh, analysis of the data shows that uh, uh, only um, slight excess above expected number of uh, pairs uh, can be still uh, explained by uh, uh, coincidental appearance of uh, two meteors uh, with, in a very short time. So there were no firm evidence for existence of uh, meteor pairs uh, among the Gemini. So this led us to question if we can ever detect uh, meteor pairs using video cameras and if yes, under which uh, conditions. Uh, if you look uh, on the forces which uh, act on the meteoroids in the solar system, uh, the most important, beside the gravity, uh, is uh, the solar radiation pressure. Uh, in this case, we can neglect, neglect uh, pointing Robertson effect because uh, of short time scales and also because of small masses. Uh, for uh, acceleration, uh, away from the sun, there is a, a formula which is uh, uh, important for us. Uh, there are two, uh, two facts which uh, we have to take in, into account. Uh, it's uh, indirectly proportional to the square of the solar distance and also to uh, bulk density of uh, the meteor. Uh, based on, on this uh, formula, we created a uh, Simple model which uh, uh, which uh, simulate the uh, motion of uh, two meteoroids after the separation. Uh, we randomly generate a, a pair of meteors. Uh, 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 the masses of uh, uh, the meteors meteoroids uh, are generated randomly. Ejection angle as well as uh, ejection velocity. And then we follow the motion of those particles on the trajectory of a given meteor stream. And uh, at the solar radiation pressure and as well as uh, ejection velocity uh, uh, influence on the particles. Uh, here's an example of a uh, pair of parasite uh, meteors or meteoroids, uh, uh, the biggest particle, uh, biggest particle is uh, shown as the uh, blue uh, circles. Uh, this uh, yellow vector shows the direction to the sun. Uh, red vector shows uh, uh, ejection velocity and uh, uh, green dots are uh, positions of uh, the smaller particle uh, each day, af uh, day after day after ejection. Uh, in this case, the ratio mass ratio among uh, both meteorites was 28 to 1. Ejection velocity was 0 0.6 meters per second. And after 10 days, uh, the meteors move uh, six, almost 600 kilometers away. So uh, we simulate the uh, number of uh, cones of such particles 
uh, in this case, it was 10,000 uh, pairs which were uh, generated. And uh, we uh, analyzed if we if uh, these uh, pairs are still observable by our cameras. Uh, the, the In this case, the detection area was set to be uh, 300 kilometers in diameter. It means that it's the projection of uh, uh, the field of view of the video camera at the rate of uh, 100 kilometers. And because we suppose uh, the pair of the meteors uh, to be uh, two, two meteors within two seconds, uh, more over uh, two, uh, two seconds uh, of the times uh, velocity of the per meters uh, is uh, added. And uh, exactly in this case, uh, which uh, when the mass ratio was uh, between one and 10, and after uh, five days, uh, uh, six one percent of uh, the generated pairs were still within the uh, detectable uh, limit. Uh, and average distance was at this time uh, less than 200 uh, kilometers. Uh, there is a comparison of uh, different uh, mass ratios, uh, uh, 1 to 10, 1 to 100, and 1 to 2. Uh, the ejection velocities were, again, uh, between 0 and 1 meter per second. And uh, you can see that uh, uh, this uh, increasing uh, mass ratio, uh, the pairs are uh, dissipating uh, more quickly. Uh, we did this uh, simulation uh, also for other meteor showers, for Geminites and Draconids, and uh, from these pictures, it, it's uh, visible that uh, 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 Geminites are uh, uh, more durable if for the pairs uh, already exist, they uh, withstand a longer time in comparison with uh, cometary meteor showers. <clears throat> and finally, we make comparison uh, of uh, the simulation with uh, observational results. Uh, there are two cases, uh, Perseids and Geminides. Uh, this is the case of Geminides, which uh, was already uh, analyzed uh, in the previous paper. And uh, the black line shows uh, expected uh, number of random pairs. And uh, uh, with uh, this time delay, uh, and uh, the blue area represents uh, uh, 95 level of uh, reliability. Uh, it means uh, that if uh, the observation, observed number of pairs uh, fell within this uh, blue area, uh, it means that uh, it's very probably a random coincidence. Uh, you can see that uh, in the case of uh, uh, Perseids, uh, uh, for shorter intervals, uh, there are uh, points which are on, on the edge of, of this interval or even uh, uh, outside the edge, but it's uh, still very, very limiting. Uh, it uh, could suggest that some pairs uh, really exist among the parasite uh, meteors. Uh, <clears throat> So uh, this is uh, in contrast with uh, the results of the simulation, uh, but uh, it probably means that uh, the Geminides are uh, less uh, frequently uh, subjects of uh, orbital fragmentation. Uh, so it's uh, quite acceptable because uh, uh, the observation shows that uh, these are the most compact uh, meteoroids. We ever observed. Uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, Perseids are <clears throat> less durable, but uh, are probably uh, subjects of more frequent orbital fragmentation. So uh, that's all. Thank you. Uh, <laughs>